So here we are. Episode two. Binaugural. <laughs> Binaugural. The Powhana podcast. Welcome, Sloan Allison. Yeah, thanks for having me again, Pat. Um, you know, kind of a lot happened since the last time we spoke. Lots been happening. Ain't that the truth? We should mention before we get rolling here, um, you may have noticed a slight name change. We did go for the Powhana podcast. Slight deviation from the coconut wireless. Um, you know, looked into it, minor trademark infringement, <laughs> you know, little problems. But I think we're on the right track now. I think we're on the right track. We we didn't want to start off the uh, the venture with a cease and desist letter in the first week. So, yeah, seemed like the right call. Yeah, we're trying to keep things um, on a positive note here at the Powhana podcast. So, uh, yeah, a little slight name change. Hope you guys like it. Um, we also like the fact that it has the potential to include afternoon beverages, um, which, uh, yeah, are always needed from time to time. So here we go. Let's dive right in, Sloan. What's, uh, what's been going on out there? Market-wise, um, you know, still kind of the same as last time we spoke. You know, buyer activities increased. Um, we are starting to see listings go pending. And, uh, yeah, it's still, uh, still pretty busy out there. Yeah. Things are moving. Things are moving. Sloan's been selling. Sloan's got a couple deals in the hopper right now. There we go. Yeah, we... We put 404 Micah Street into escrow, um, which last ask was just under just under three million. So um, excited! Been working with these people for a long time. They're they're great sellers, and um, yeah, hopefully keep them stoked across the finish line here. Been uh, been quite a while on that one, huh, Sloan? <laughs> Let's be honest well, here. You know, how, since, how long we've we been at that one? Since you asked. Um, first you know had it as a pocket listing first and um gosh it was late 2021 i think um yeah fall uh summer yeah. slash there's really no fall here in hawaii but late summer uh 2021 we we started speaking with them and you know marketing it you know as a pocket listing for the team and, and to our network and then um as the market you know heated up in 2022 they we we put it on the market and um you know, had some success, but didn't um, didn't close the deal. And um, this time around, uh, it's going to be different. There we go. I think it should be noted, Sloan, that uh, what you guys are in contract at is far and away a huge record for that neighborhood. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Well, the pro I mean, nothing ever ever comes on the market in there, and so you know, with, with two acres zoned ag, and where is that? Wailuku Country Estates, um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, right. so really, really cool neighborhood in in Wailuku, and um, yeah, just setting records. Agricultural neighborhood in the heart of Wailuku. Yep. We've got uh, very popular in the medical community. Would you say? Yeah, um, super popular with you know, with doctors, anesthesiologists, um, surgeons, um, any sort of you know professional that that needs to be close to Wailuku town or Kahului or kind of be able to to get around the island um from a central location it's it's great for that yeah yeah no absolutely absolutely um nice well congrats to you my man that's a good one been at it for a while and we're uh, we're in contract um what uh you know I was going to jump to some national news Okay. Been a lot of buzz out there about the uh, mortgage pricing changes from um, our friend Joe Biden up there at the helm. Um, we've got some Fannie Mae pricing adjustment changes that are really hitting the headlines hard. People are all over this. Um, I do think it should be noted that a lot of these headlines are um, maybe a bit misleading. Um, well, we, you know, by no means and well, I, I don't know. What's our position on it, Sloan? Do we love it? Do we hate it? We, we're, we're fairly impartial. Um, we don't love it. We do think good credit borrowers should get benefits and better pricing, which they do. Um, basically what this legislation did is 
kind of leveled the playing field a bit. It kind of took some of those advantages for high credit borrowers, paired them back a little bit. It gave, you know, some of the points or the fees um, that lower credit borrowers were being charged. It gave them some of those back. So it kind of brought growth ends more to the middle. Um, you know, think what you will about that. Um, you know, we spoke with our good friend, uh, David Brown earlier. He, you know, he gave us the, the overall view that, you know, it doesn't dramatically change either scenario. Um, it's not going to be a make or break. If you're a 780 plus credit borrower putting 20% down, it's not going to make or break your decision on buying that property or not, right? You know, we're talking, I think at that range, it's like an eighth of a point difference. Um, and again, in those like mid six range credit score borrowers in that same down, I think, you know, they pulled that back by like three quarter points on the fee. So it's, it's nothing, you know, all that dramatic, but it does change the landscape a little bit. So, uh, what, you know, what are your thoughts on that Sloan? I'm, um, I'm going to play middleman Sloan on this one. Um, I'll give a pro for each, for each, uh, each side of the spectrum here. Um, on the bottom end, I think it's, it's good. Very for, uncontroversial you know, of you. Yeah. It's, it's a little, uh, it's a little, it's encouraging for people with lower credit, um, for, for borrowers that are a little less qualified, but I, I will like say, I will say it's just a little bit of socialism is <laughs> a slippery slope. And I don't know if, you know, if they're going to keep going and make it, you know, bring the two sides even closer, but yeah, it's, it's, it is a slippery slope. It's, You're right. They, I agree. You got it. When, when you're trying to, to create, you know, socialism, you got to start somewhere and it's, <laughs> this could be the first step. It might not be, it might not be, but, um, I got to think that, you know, hopefully it doesn't get get too much worse, uh, you know. For hey, the, at the end for of the, the day, we're hours, we're, but... uh, we're hopefully we're putting more people in homes. I think that's that's the overall goal. Um, you know, if that's the case, we support it, right? That's how we survive. <laughs> we got to put people in homes. So I think, um, yeah, if it can get get more borrowers into a property, especially in today's wild mortgage rate environment um then hey what you know not the worst thing um on that note mortgage rates what have we seen there it's been um been kind of a roller coaster i we're can, still at, um i, I looked this yeah. morning i think we're still just under six for 30 year fixed um like 5.88 or something i saw um which you know that's I think that's encouraging. It's not, you know, going back up, um, which a lot of people were predicting it to do at least a few weeks ago they were. So, um, yeah, I, I kind of, I kind of like where the market's at, to be honest, it's, it's kind of flattened and, um, you know, it's more balanced for sure. Yeah. So here, uh, what are you, what are you saying? I'm pulling up, pulling up a rate chart here. We're gonna bring it up on the screen for everyone. I don't know which Sloan, which uh, lender Sloan's working with, but we all gotta find him because this is what I'm seeing, and we can see on our chart here. This blue line is the one that most people that is the relevant line, um which is 30 year fixed rates. And look at this crazy line. We've got dramatic peaks, dramatic valleys, another peak, valley, peak. Um, what a wild ride it's been on. But as we can see in the more, you know, basically the last 30 days, we're, we're down. Um, settling right in the low sixes, 6373 um, for today. That obviously changes day to day, but um yeah you know in the broader scheme of things basically year to date we're relatively flat but it's been quite a bit higher and a little bit lower as well so 
uh we'll see how that train um you know continues on definitely but you know the fed hiked uh, another quarter point yesterday as was expected everyone's saying that's the last hike we'll see we'll see where it what, goes uh, what do you what do you think where do you think they're headed to um i think rates are going to be kind of in this range for a bit I think right now it's pretty important for buyers um, to really keep an eye on like the day-to-day -day rates and the week-to-week because -week, it literally matter. It, it can shift that much. So people who have been shopping, um, you know, they're watching for these dips in the rates and they're locking. And that's a good strategy right now. It's, it's a more volatile rate market than we've seen, gosh, ever, at least in my lifetime. So keeping a really close eye if, you know, if you are in the market buying, um, definitely recommend that. You know, that that even one day to the next right now can make a quarter point, half point difference in your rate, which is just crazy to think. But well, the wild thing at. too is it, it could it could go the other way too, though. That's what's that's oh, yeah. the that's the wild thing is you you play the game and it 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 doesn't always work in your favor like that. It's crazy. No, exactly. Yeah, you think you're waiting. I mean, it's just like rolling the dice, right? Who knows? And and uh, we got a lot of people playing that with the market as well. You know, there's buyers that have been on the sidelines waiting for that that deal, and it's just not coming. Um, you know, values. I guess it's a good time to segue into values. What do we think? Um, but values year to date are pretty flat. Yeah, we haven't seen any movement. I mean, the median's about the same. Um, volumes are down. Inventory still lower nothing new coming to the market um still a decent amount of buyer activity so as long as that inventory stays low i think you know pricing is going to remain fairly stable here in maui um but yeah not not a lot of movement price wise so far this year um and we'll see how that that continues you know we'll see but um on that note you know the the people that have been waiting um, I, I think in this market, it's all about if you know what you're looking for, jump on it, you know, and, and something comes available. Um, I think it's, you know, it, it is a reasonable time to jump on it, both rate wise and based on the fact that if you've been waiting a while for what you're looking for and then it's here, um, it probably won't be here again for a long time. I mean, there's just nothing new coming on. Um, so yeah, I think seize those opportunities. Um, but yeah, it's, it's tricky right now, man. It's tricky. It's hard to know. No one knows. No one knows what's going to happen. Everyone's like, well, if I wait a month, is it going to get better? I don't know. Well, the cliche, right? If you love the house, get it. Just date the rate for a little bit. And if rates go down, refi. Oh, I mean, he said it. Oh, it's he not said a, it. It's not a. It's, re, it's really. Mary, it's it's really not a. a date the rate, didn't it's, he? Date the um, rate, dude. Date it. Wow. You know, it's, it's wow. We got an email the other day from a lender who I will not name. Um, he uh, yeah, that was in his email, and I uh, you, I threw up in my mouth a little bit. To be <laughs> honest, I did. Just because um, it's uh, just because it's cringy doesn't mean it's not true. <laughs> You know, it's oh yeah, yeah. I apologize, everyone. Apologize yeah. for Sloan here, my uh, my colleague. Um, moving on, moving on. So that's that's kind of our what's what's happening here this week um, on Palhana Podcast. What I was gonna do? Let's let's look at what's out there. Let's jump into some of the new uh, new inventory. See what we got here. Bringing up the old Villa Group. Oh, we got to check this one out. This has been a. This one's been the talk of the town right now. Two twelve Ohukai. You sold this so one. I, yeah? I I actually sold this house. I represented the sellers several years ago. This is probably back twenty fifteen. Oh wow. Um, I think it sold somewhere in the low fives. I want to say five hundred. Um wild though to see the difference this one when i sold it was in great shape really nice home well taken care of 
you know, a nice family lived there and a nice family moved in. But in the last, what has it been? What is that? Eight years? Yeah. It has absolutely gone to shit. I mean, the, the property itself looks pretty, <laughs> it looks pretty great. I mean, you got a nice yard in the back. I mean, the, the floor plan. Here's, looks, here's some of the photos. The no flooring. We got, we're missing some flooring in that bedroom. Well, I think there's missing, oh, there's missing, there's missing flooring everywhere. It looks like someone took all the flooring appliances and just <laughs> bounced. <laughs> just left. Huh? That's what it looks like. So I, I don't know the scoop. I, they, I'm sure they moved out and they were renting the property or probably what but look at that back wow wow what a difference um big i mean i know it's getting action though i think we've already heard there's you know maybe three or four offers they got a bunch of showings because i mean 795 you can get a house they converted the garage into an ohana i mean where else can you find that uh right now so un under 800 grand it's a deal 7600 square foot lot so even though it's wild to see how deteriorated it's become, um, still a good buy. Great buy right yeah. now. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, we got, we were talking about this one. I like that River one. Road, why, hey, hey. Yeah. This is a nice, this is a nice property. Um, you know, you've got an acre of land, riverfront, new build what a spot to be huh i know i know it's just gorgeous that part of that. that part of the island's amazing look at that tucked up on the hill no flood issues gorgeous views sunrises are unbelievable over there pretty sweet spot man that's that's a good one we like that one you got the river flowing below you New construction, which is always huge here. Obviously, we got we have a lot of older inventory, so anything um, anything remotely new is, is desirable, especially when you get as much rain and, and kind of in the elements as they are over there. Um, it's a it's a three parcel CPR too, and yeah, the listing agent owns it, and it sounds like the big there's a big part of the parcel that's going to be used for farming and you would be able to access it or pay into the farm and well, there we um, go yeah i think that's a really cool um yeah really cool addition to that property love that love that and we got this one over in haiku that came on we're big fans of lower ulamala road if, if you're any you know familiar with haiku at all um lower ulamalu is just one of these little nooks that is kind of off the beaten path and people you know they're, they're not super aware of it but when you drive down there it is an absolutely absolute sanctuary down there unbelievable views quiet um if you know uh if you're familiar with the surf industry have you heard of uh, laird hamilton i think a lot of people know uh know laird um that was his old stomping grounds laird's old uh crash pad used to be down there before he moved over to Kauai. um so hey you know if laird liked it you know it's pretty good <laughs> but uh check out these views man what what a there was one, west valley mountains that one, that one. west Mount mountains yeah. front and center You've got that perfect western exposure looking at Kakaloa Head and Molokai. Gorgeous home. And to be honest, at you know, lower three is what, right over three? Not a bad value. Not a bad value in today's Wait, market. I, I saw this one. The the listing agent owns it. Yeah, yeah. It's uh it's our yeah. good friend Bonnie Ader over at Equity One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I toured Lovely this Lovely lady. We, uh, we it, was on before, it was on before. Yep, yep. They were on the market before. They were on for a bit. Um, Dude, freaking yeah. that. I had a buyer. Great she spot. actually a lender on the big island and sent me running all around Haiku looking at these like three, four millers and then ghosted me. Just... <laughs> <laughs> just ghosted me dude just left in the dust yeah like we well, had a great we had a great showing here that downstairs is actually really cool it's like like almost not it's like just under a thousand square feet it was like an art studio oh, yeah type of situation yeah it was that place is dialed 
Yeah, we may know um, her husband, uh, Eric Ader, is a well-known photographer. So That's I right. I think they were doing, they did some like processing and stuff there. Um, he had amazing yeah. photos all over the house of oh, shots yeah. he took, at, you know, a few of Jaws and, you know, it was, yeah, really cool. That's about it for the um, the roundup there. But yeah, a couple, couple good ones out there, I think. Um, again, any new inventory we get excited about because there's just not much of it. So keep an eye out for anything new out there. Um, you know, obviously we're here to help you with that. Any uh, any closing points for us, Sean? What do we I do? forgot to to lead into that last segment. Um, Pat, sorry, we're picks. still we're still working we're still working out the kinks over here. Pat's picks. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Pat's picks. <laughs> Pat's here picks. We go. We're gonna get some sweet intro uh, intro audio from Sloan. We'll, uh, <laughs> we're gonna be professional before you know it, here, folks. So give us a little bit, and we're gonna be legit. Sloan, we got it. We we cannot leave today without just touching on your uh, recent golf round at the Dunes at Maui Lani. So what, uh, what was going down over there? U.S. Open qualifier um, was last Wednesday at the Dunes. Um, newer course for me, um, you know, at least since I've been on Maui, I hadn't really played it a whole lot. So just started big way you know, playing it and, and getting to know it and um yeah shot a shot a very uninspiring 87 so um what the were we hoping of, to shoot that day Sloan? what was what was our target score so it's, even par i thought would for sure get in and with how i've been playing it wasn't completely you know out of the question but uh we got a little loose off the tee um on hole 12 and um the round uh the round went to shit so um great experience though L i love competing and so um good to you know scratch that itch a little bit and um get out there had to walk by the way which it's been a long time since i've done that in a while <laughs> i've walked the golf course um but my cat my caddy got to to drive the cart with my clubs and he also had a, a cooler for me for when uh <laughs> when the wheels kind of came off on the back nine so it you know still we still had a really fun day there we go. There we go. There we go. Sloan, always looking on the bright side. <laughs> always looking. What you know, What are you just, doing this weekend, Pat? What are we doing this weekend? We're gearing up. We've got Menahune Mayhem hosted by the Walsh Ohana. Not no. this weekend. Next weekend. I know it sounded like that was coming this weekend. But what we're going to do is we're going to be doing some prep with the kids. It's a... Uh, it's the best kids contest for surf. You know, it's not even really a contest. I mean, it is, but it isn't. It's just, it's more of a, a it's really a phenomenal event put on for the uh, Keiki of this island. And I think there's going to be like 400 kids there. Um, tons of, what do we got? We got tons of vendors, demonstrations. Um, it's going to be a blast. But yeah, I'm still, uh, we're trying to get my oldest daughter, Jordan. She's five. Um, trying to get her comfortable in the waves and you know she's still working on that a bit we're having some trouble so we're gonna get some reps in this weekend bud and um try and uh try and practice for the comp is she in oh yeah yeah she's in yes yeah she's in five and under five and under division very cool um i think everyone gets a trophy but uh you know she's, we're, okay. we're there to compete we're showing up love it Look, I mean, she she does well in, in the rodeo stuff too, and so it'd be cool to get her get her in the yeah. in the water competition stuff going. Exactly, that's that's my goal, man. We're we we got you know my wife, um, big rodeo history, big rodeo family, legend. But legend. we uh, we we got to keep the roots down at the beach, so we're we're you know we're keeping her in the water. We're keeping her in the water. What uh what do you got on the agenda, my man? This weekend, uh, probably beach, um, and then barbecue with some friends um, and clients on Saturday night up in uh, Olinda, which I've actually never been up to Olinda. So, um, oh, that'd be lovely. Yeah, excited to go spend some time up there. Got to wear some some long sleeves. Um, yeah, maybe it's, have to take a jacket. Uh, it's, but it's a little chilly up there. Okay, um, it's a little chilly. 
you know, but, uh, but yeah, looking forward to it. Cool, man. Cool. Well, uh, episode two, Pahana podcast. That's a wrap. I think we, uh, we're, uh, we're going to constantly improve. So don't give up on us yet. We're, <laughs> uh, we're going to be, we're going to be better next week than we were last, but, uh, we'll check back with you soon. Take care.